All right, time to make some money, time to slay some monsters, and time to get home from this demon continent. I'm excited about these episodes. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Mushoku Tensei, episodes 11 and 12. This one is called Children and Warriors. Now, last episode, we had to join the adventurers guild to try to make some money because we need to survive at the end of the day but we are such a low rank that the low ranking jobs will not be enough to pay for three people to live satisfactorily and so man god told us to go take the find the kitten job we took the finding kitten job and rudy ended up getting attacked by one of the people ergo making um Ruiji kill him and rudy did not like that so he like told him that we're gonna do this about the superds and increase your guys reputation no more killing whatsoever so we'll see if that lasts and how far that does last and now we are using the survivors of that squad to give us higher ranked missions so we can make some more money so i'm excited to find out what happens i gotta know don't forget if you guys want early access or full length to this show and all the other shows i'm watching we are four episodes ahead on patreon links are down in the description down below like always for you guys if you guys want to support me and patreon's not really your thing if you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment it really does help me with that youtube algorithm don't forget to subscribe and to click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated. Let's hop into this. Mushoku Tensei, Jobless Reincarnation, Season 1, Episodes 11 and 12. This one is called Children and Warriors. Let's do this. All right. We start off the episode with Roxy. Long time no see, girly. What is she seeing, though? Where are we? Because she was in the kingdom of Sharon, right? Oh, is this a... Is this the aftermath of the terrible, what was it called, the mana disaster that sucked them in and transported them to the demon continent? I'm curious what this is. Because it looks to be some sort of memorial listing of the dead, listing of the missing. Yeah. Ooh, okay, is that Gimli from Lord of the Rings? Norn is in my care. Zenith, Lilia, and Aisha are missing. Is this Powell writing a letter to Rudy? So he's just writing this a lot to a lot of areas. Powell, Grey Rat. Mysterious monster in the petrified forest. That does look like a petrified forest. I really enjoy this song when they play it. Looks like Geld from... Oh, this is the party from the hotel the other day. That literally looks like Geld from Reincarnated to the Slime. It is. <laughs> they remember our name. And they I won't lie. In terms of power, they look hella strong. Look how big they are, you know? They seem like some B-Ranks trying to make some easy money, you know? I'm trying to get that money. First come, first serve. Let's slay out this monster. Oh, his third eye. Oh, okay. I th I'm down to help them. I can't lie, walking through a petrified forest like this? Yeah, this would be terrifying. Ooh. Talk about monsters. Yeah, we have to make sure they can't, yeah, we have to make sure they can't handle it. They are adventurers, you know? Oh my god, look at that snake. Yeah, we really should make them feel like they're literally about to die. They will spread the tale of dead end a lot better. Don't wait too long though, because you don't want them to... Okay, Rui Jerd. He, oh my god, this man is a menace. I think this is a rude wake-up call for Rudy. Like, yes, this is like a video game type world, fantasy world, but you cannot treat it like that. This is very real. Okay, Eris is so... Okay, advanced level swordsman Eris. I see you out here. God damn it. Yeah, did they lose their third member? The bird-looking gentleman? The chocobo looking? Oh my god, he looks so dead. Oh, 
Okay. Okay. Ruiji, it's going to be a little difficult to be with sometimes. That is true. They signed up for this. They definitely knew the risk going into this. All adventurers do. It's good that they accept responsibility and have the grief and regret like that so they, you know, learn from it and work better in the future. Good. Good. Some respect that's needed. I get Rui Jird for thinking that children are something sacred, innocent, you know, to be protected at all costs, not to be blamed, but this is a different situation of children, so I like that he changed it up on the fly. Oh, they're carrying their, their buddy back. It's a hard awakening realizing that this isn't the type of video game world you know that you think it is. Ooh, I can't tell if they're winning or losing based off that sound. Oh. Almond Anaconda who? A Red Hood Cobra. Definitely, okay. He's our good power scaler when it comes to monsters and stuff. No hesitation from Rudy either. Ooh, okay, fire, ice, bolt, whatever the fuck that literally looked like. Ice, fire. Eris. Scales are a little too difficult for your sword. Oh, good stop. She stopped herself with her sword. That was clean as shit. Good save, Ruiger. Oh my god. Literally with one hand. And she's stopping him so he, he was stopping him so she could have a, a chance to do her work. Cause you know, this is some great teamwork. This is some great attacks. Oh my god! All around, this is so well animated. We just shot out the entire chest of a fucking red hood cobra. Yeah, poke it a little bit. Just make sure. Did they die? Yep. Now I feel obviously less bad for them than I do of the children because they know more than children, but it's just a sad situation when you make it just a, a bit too late in any time, you know? Whether it be children, whether it be normal adventures, you want to save as many people as you can. It's the same fucking horse, dude. What happened to them? Half of what we make every month? Or I'll take half your body to the nearest dumpster and I'll leave the other half in the street. It is a tricky scenario, so what are we going to do? Okay, Rui Jerd? He's literally turning into Rui Jerd right now. Oh, did he put the did he put the water into his hair? Yeah. So now the green superb hair is showing. The same exact guy, but with green, blue hair, is completely cool. But as soon as you see that superb green hair, that's just so crazy. I can't tell for certain, but I feel like Rudy Jared is one of the most observant people here. So he noticed that uh, Rudy was going to do whatever it took to keep Eris safe and get her home, even if it meant the cost of the city. Exactly like Rudy Jared said to them. He's like, I'll kill anyone I need to to get these two kids home safe. And so instead of Rudy having to lower himself and take the blame for this and bring himself to that he was willing to do this because he shoulders everything already on his on his back and stuff like that's what it feels like to me i don't know but it really felt like he knew rudy was about to do something so he's like i'm, I'm gonna do this right now i don't care that is a good threat that is quite intimidating just enough to make him faint barely so when he wakes up he'll remember everything that happened and be like no i'm not telling anyone See, I really did feel like he 
Absolutely. Yeah. I, I really felt like he knew something, so he took that and shouldered it himself. And if anyone's going to know that, it's going to be him, so. As he looks at Eris, because that's the one that Rudy will do anything to protect. Hells, <laughs> yeah. I respect and appreciate that, Rui Jerd, but we will also help you too, buddy. Don't you worry. He seems like such a good dude, you know? That's what I'm saying. Don't you worry, bud. We got you. No. <laughs> I like how we continued our story with these guys like normal, but we also got that little teaser of Roxy and other people at the beginning with Powell as well. Oh, we're just shaved his hair. I was like, what the fuck happened to Rui Jerd? He's bald now. What do we have, a magic wig? Oh, talk about fucking cooler. That's the coolest looking thing I've ever fucking seen. My man looks straight out of Naruto right now. Okay, we're ready to travel the continent now. And now we have like a new adventure montage of us leaving and stuff like that. Okay. Oh, they're making a little stew? Damn. Rudy knows how to cook it up. Get a little training in. Now, you know, Ghislaine's not here anymore. Eris needs it. Good. Okay, Eris with the armor. Oh, we're doing a little... We're doing a little... Uh, <laughs> clothes montage. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, Roxy and the two other adventurers. Are we sailing back to the demon continent for the first time for her? Are we looking for people from the mana disaster? Thank you for watching. Look forward to season two. I was always under the assumption that it was all season one, but part two of season one. Like we're doing Attack on Titan season four, part one and two. Is this technically, am I going into season two? There's no way, right? No way, right? So it does seem to be more of a, I looked into it just a little bit. It does seem to be more of a part two than a season two. I was a little nervous there for a second, but we are back with it. I believe it's called, this episode's called The Woman with the Demon Eyes, something like that. Episode 12. The animation is absolutely stunning. I was told that this show's budget was on another level or along the lines of they opened a new animation studio and this is the first anime they did with it and it's, it looks gorgeous. We got a new city we're coming on. Oh, cute cat. No marketplace, some bustling antiques, some great food. Looks like a Twi'lek from Star Wars in the background. That's where those literally look like, on the left looks like a Twi'lek. I was like, what are the odds? They're right there. Rudy, turn around. Roxy's right there. Really? Our name has been spread? Mad Dog Eris. Guard Dog Ruijerd. Horn Dog. <laughs> Mad Dog Guard Dog Horn Dog. Kennel Master Ruijerd. Yeah. No one even knows your name. It has been a year though. That's crazy. 2,000 green ore coins. Is that like insanely expensive? Really? It's that much to get off this continent? Why is it so much? <laughs> Even I can't manage that. Yeah, I mean, obviously we want to get home as quickly as possible, but it's already been a year. We're in no, like, super eager rush, you know? It's a tough question. I do know that Roxy's in town, though. It'd be great to see her. How did she just come from over there, over here? It's been a, a year since we saw the um, man god. Oh. So even the man god has some sort of plan in which he thought Rudy would play out, you know, in terms of a scenario, but things can go differently. Okay. Buy food from a street vendor. Go to the back alleys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What'll happen if I do, though? Let's talk about it. 
<sighs> Typical man god. We got some more training with Eris. Ooh, and Rui. Oh my god. Oh, with a sand throw in the middle of the combo? Eris is getting nice. Yeah, if I could train with anyone, I don't know who I would shoot. Oh, Ghislaine! No! No, I said, I said Ghislaine. Roxy! I was literally just about to say if I could train with anyone, I don't know whether it'd be Ghislaine or Rui Jird, so that's why I said Ghislaine. But Roxy's here. And Eris is hyped. She just landed a hit. Now she's all fucking geeked out. Three hundred years since my resurrection. To think I would perish in a place like this. This isn't the lowly demon from the other day, right? Yeah. What? I'm so curious about man gods. Her teeth look familiar. It is her. It is indeed her. And she was the one who saw the mana disaster and decided to come over here, right? Or something like that. Ki Kishirika. Kishirika. The great emperor of the demon world. See? I'm going to write down Kishirika Demon Loli. What, does she have a slot machine in her eyes? <laughs> What's the point of a wish? I worry about your future. This show is something else. This show is something else. This episode was called The Girl with the Demon Eyes, but I was not expecting it to be her at all. Oh my god, he's got a demon eye now. She is like Naruto, she did eye surgery. He can see like a millisecond in the future of what's gonna happen. Am I seeing that correctly? The eye of foresight. That would be the trippiest thing to look at ever. Your right eye can see a millisecond ahead, your left eye sees normal live time. That'd be so weird getting used to. I like the way they're animating that, though. Oh. Why did we just launch him? What? Was that... That wasn't Rudy's vase, or whose vase was that? The great emperor of the demon world, Kishirika. Twelve demon eyes. They literally look like a slot machine. I like the way they did that. That was crazy. Another week. That's about realistic. It would be very hard to get used to that, I'm telling you. Oh, you can... It has... Okay, mana in fluctuation. That's dope. So you can use a lot of mana, but you can see a good more distant in the future, you know? One second ahead. Oh, okay, we can see clearly. Got it. Ooh, good job. That foresight is good. That was well handled. In terms of swordsmanship, Eris beats Rudy 10 times out of 10, so. Damn, a support a superb warrior with a demon eye would be sick. No, not even close. Give it a try. Oh. 
I know Rudy's an amazing mage with a demon eye, and Rudyard's a superb warrior with unfathomable skill. You know, like I get where Eris is coming from, even though she doesn't realize how exceptional she already is for her age. You know, that's the thing when you're traveling with two fucking OP companions. He was gonna sell his staff to try to get enough money to take Eris home. That's crazy. I know that staff is worth a fortune. And it was gifted to us on our 10th by Eris? No. Yeah, she contacted like the finest staff maker in the land, something like that. So he's doing, yeah, the only thing that he can do to keep everyone together, but at the cost of self, self-sacrifice, you know? Oh, so are we going to do some shady shit to get over there? Shouts out Rui Jird. Willing to set aside his personal morals just for a little bit. In order to help the greater good. That's what is needed on an adventurous party for sure. The same dude from earlier. Yeah. What did he notice with that vase that we destroyed? Yeah. Gallus Cleaner. Oh, wait, that was the whole episode? God damn it, that went so fast. Well, talk about some crazy episodes. I'm thoroughly enjoying where we're going in this whole scenario that we're in right now, trying to make it home. I could. And if you guys could answer me that, that'd be dope. I don't know if this is based off light novels, a manga, anything else, but does this have the potential for multiple seasons, like Reincarnated as a Slime? But I could totally see us maybe making it home the first season. I, don't, I have no idea. That's the thing about this. Like In terms of the end goal and where we're going for the end of the show, I have no idea. I'm super excited, though. But the first episode when Powell was talking about how everyone's missing, uh, Lilia... Aisha and Zenith and the only one he has is Norn. That's crazy. And then he's asking some ex party member everyone He wrote letters to literally anyone he could think of to help find his family members and he stopped looking for Rudy to go help find Zenith and everyone like that and then Roxy I'm assuming is teaming up with two of his ex party members because they know Powell and uh, They're in the same exact city as Rudy and I want them to see each other so bad. I love Roxy so much but with that whole Red Hood Cobra in the Petrified Forest, that first mission, that was an eye-opener for Rudy in terms of how we're going to go about schemes and plans and strategies in this. Because even though this seems like a game, it's not a game. People will die. People will, <laughs> like, there was six total adventurers besides us going to stop that Red Hood Cobra. And four of them died. Only two of them survived. That's insane. That is insane. But... I like uh, Rejur's resolve to help out, you know, to forgot, forget any evil he's seen until we make it across the sea. You know, he shaved his head, covered his his, his gem, his third eye. So it's super, super, I respect him. I like him a lot. I love the training everyone is getting. I love seeing uh, Kishirika, the demon loli, who we saw from during the mana disaster. And now she has a, a, a number of demon eyes, which are, is insane. And oh my god, and we've got the foresight eye. That's one of the dopest ones for sure. I'm super excited to use that in action. I'm really loving this. I'm really loving this. I can tell why you guys are enjoying this. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all the Dapper Darius. Don't forget to check out that Patreon, early access and full length, the four episodes ahead of every show. It is a great time. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to drink some water. Uh, have a good day. Tell someone you love them. Be safe. Peace.